there was supposed to be no rent. She told me that we, we could save money completely when we were going to move there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you show him this, please, huh. Officer Bird? That's your signature. Okay. That's the girlfriend's sure. signature. Sure. That's what it says. Okay. Yes. So you came home from work and she told you she wanted the $100 a week instead of maybe $100 a month that you were giving them. And what happened? Well, the week before, I said we had called the cops. On them. On them, right. Because? Because she was just coming up there harassing us. Harassing you for what? Just, she just was... Did she ask you for money? No, she was just harassing us to do errands and stuff. As well as money, yes. As well as money, just a bunch of stuff. We just didn't want to be bothered. She was coming right up there, you know. Uh, she left us notes as well. We have them here while we were staying there. Just crazy you know. It's just absolutely crazy, Your Honor. Then go. I know. You're not stuck there like glue. Right, exactly. No, you weren't paying we the were rent. We were only there four hey, months. You weren't paying the rent you were supposed to pay. According to you, you were supposed to, according to what you just told me now twice, because I asked you twice. Okay. You were supposed to pay $100 a week, and here you said $100 a month. She came upstairs, she was harassing you. One of the things she was <sighs> harassing you about was rent and money. Okay, so you called the police on your mother. Right. And then... And then they came and said, you have to go through the eviction order if you want them out. And then... They said, leave us alone. Then I went to work the next week, 5 o'clock at night. I came home. We're upstairs, minding our own business, a knock on the door. I was like, what's going on? So I went down. It was a marshal saying she had to leave right this instant. Two days later, I get served saying that I hit her. I, ne Good. I never touched her. Good. Ever. Now, where yeah. are you living? We're living at a studio place. Nice. Away from your mother. Away from her, exactly. Uh, away from your mother. Very good. If you don't like living with your mother, move out. How old are you? Uh, exactly. How old are you? 37. 37. Time to be on your own. Right. With your girlfriend. Absolutely. It takes you a long time to make up your mind. What stuff do you claim your mother kept from you? Because if the marshal came, the marshal allowed you to take stuff with you, and you were only coming from a room. Do you remember you told me that? So now I'd like you to tell me what stuff that your mother disposed of or kept from you. It was a room with an attic where I had a lot of stuff. But I have pictures <laughs> here. When the marshal told your girlfriend to leave, mm -hmm. did she leave? Yeah, she had no choice. Did she take your daughter with her? Yes. Where did she go? We had to go to a hotel. And did you, after that date, uh, do you remember what that date was? I believe it was around... 516. 516. After May 16th, pay careful attention, I... did you ever go back to your mother's house yeah. to get any of your property? I went back once. On what date? Probably a week the later. 23rd. 23rd. And who did you go back with? By myself. I called the police and they gave me a... An escort. An escort, yes. An escort. So you went back by yourself in your car? Yes. And you took property from there? What I could take in a little car, yeah. We're talking about on the 23rd, Mr. Handley. You were there with a police escort. Did anybody prevent you with the police escort? Because I called the police sure, to find sure. out. Did either your mother or your stepfather prevent you from taking anything else that belonged to you on the 23rd? No, they didn't prevent me, but I noticed some Good. stuff was missing. The case is dismissed. We're done. No, please, can I... We're can I... done! <laughs> Parties are excused. You may step out. They weren't working, and they didn't pay any rent. We were, we've been in a hotel. We're still in a hotel, you know? Didn't pay $100 a month, didn't pay anything. It's just, it's, it's not right. We're, I guess we're done with it. Nothing. Nothing. We're not going to talk to them. We'll move on.